I have 10 inches square and the ratio of the flower you get as a result is like that. And six inches paper will create something, of course, smaller like that. And I think either way, somewhere between six inches and 12 inches will create really great size. It's a square and what I have is a kami paper. One side is colored, the other side is white. Start out with this, we will make white rectangle. Make sure the orientation of the side is correct. What I made was color side up and white triangle, which is the back side of the paper. And open, turn it. So we will we'll make another rectangle from different direction. By doing this, you made cross crease. And if you are familiar with uh, origami terms, we are going to make a water bomb base or some people say triangle base or the balloon base. So after we make this one, turn the paper. This, uh, this time we'll make triangle and color triangle. Just like that. And open. Turn again because I like to make opposite direction. This time from this bottom to the top. And make a sharp crease, especially the sharp crease on the triangle crease. So from the color side, that is like a tent and you will have the dent right here, which came from the rectangle fold. If you see the back side, it looks like a basket. Yeah. And again, I can't emphasize enough about this. So here's a triangle is like a tent mountain. This is a triangle. It is not um, right here. Rectangle fold is mountain. If you can really make sense out of that. This is a body fold, it's not like a mountain. Yeah. So you have this shape, let me move that, right here. And use that mountain folds, like a tent top. First, pinch the Press the mountain fold, one side, other side, and then gradually push to the center. From the top view, it looks like that. And on the back, it looks like a little bit like a star. And push to the center as far as you can go. I can't go any farther than that. And Look at the side, make it flat. You are not making any new crease. You are only using the existing crease. Two flaps together here, and another opposite two flaps together, and then make it flat. I'm using the existed, pre-existing crease right there. This is a balloon base, or water and bone base. One, two flaps on my right side, two triangle flaps on my left side. From here, two bottom of this triangle will be folded up to the very, very top. So from my right bottom side, 
fold that out. Same thing to the top. And make the sharp crease, please. We'll do the same on the bottom one. Yeah. You will do the same. And this is the back side, the back side of the the side you just did. The bottom goes up. And the same goes up. As a result, you have two flaps right here and on the back, two triangle flaps there. Very good. Then from here, let's focus on this one flap. Open, close, open, close, halfway, halfway. You can really see the pocket right here. You put your finger inside all the way, all the way. I am hitting the top of this corner and squash from the top. Make it flat. You can see a great square is squashed to the bottom. Right here. You will do the same thing to the opposite side, right here. Here's a triangle. Open, close. Halfway open, find the pocket right here. If you are using kami, you can see the white inside. That's what it is. Put your finger all the way inside, all the way to the top of this pocket and squash, make it flat. See the small rectangle emerging like big windows or the door of this house shape. You see that? Okay. And from here, you will, let's focus on this side. Here's a top layer, very, very top layer. You grab onto that and the rest of it wanna go up with it. So press with your finger and just the top layer goes to the left top. And this part is like a mouse or a triangle door up. And do the same on this right side. Pick up only top layer. So grab the whole bottom piece and let the top layer fold it to the right top. You have small triangle looking down to the bottom. And this flap, only one flap you grab. And fold this triangle bottom to the very top line. So what you did was from here, you did this, that, that. That's the triangle falls on this step. You will do exactly the same thing on the back side. So pick it up and turn it over. Very good. And let's do that. Here's a big triangle piece. Up, down, up, down. And here's a pocket. 
open the pocket, flatten to a square, do the same on the opposite side, open, close, and halfway open, open the pocket and flatten it. Make a sharp crease. Then, if you remember, here's a door, like a window, and open the top layer, the only top layer, to the corner right top. Crease, and this time, the center bottom will be folded to the left top right here. In the middle, there's a triangle pointing down. Uh, actually, diamond square, right? But I am imagining the next step because you are folding triangle from the bottom to the top. Sharp crease again. Very good. Now, next move is different. The next step is doing something on this flap. So if you check on your right side, there are two flaps. One, two flaps. Check on that. And you're going to be using this one, so keep it open. And on the left side, you have the same situation. Here's the open side, open side, right? You want to do something on this. So grab that and close. On the other side, do the same. Like uh, closing your book, close in the middle. Then you are on the size of this surface. From the right bottom, fold up. It's very similar manners from the last step. And do the same from the opposite side. And in the middle, there's a diamond, diamond square. And fold the bottom to the top of the diamond square. Mine is not lining up perfectly, but please trust me, it's gonna work. Yes, and turn it over. You will do the same thing on this. Triangle from the bottom to the center, like that, and from the left side you fold the triangle and here's a diamond square in the middle where my thumbs are grab that and fold to the top as far as you can go and now it's like a, a boat so if you look at this as a boat, here's a sail on the top, right? And here's a white part is a boat. Just imagine there's a line right here. You will do body fold. You will dent, fold like that. As you did it, here's the bottom of the boat. So after you make a crease, open halfway towards you, and very, very center, right here, here's a bottom layer, and here's a top layer right here. And the two triangle shape is folded towards the center. When you open this a little bit, you can see the opening on this and top. 
go ahead and open that this is really neat you force that to flat and this triangle part becomes flat go ahead and make a crease this is a neat neat move i just love this part then let's turn it over here's a sail make it down and up do it at least twice up and down from here you will twist to the shape of the flower we are almost done believe it or not have this sail down flat and grab this top wing it's like a wing and push that wing to up it only goes one way just up yes turn it 90 degree angle and this part from the bottom the bottom here goes up when you do that, it becomes like a windmill. Do you see that? Here. And emphasize the crease you just made. It doesn't go completely flat. Well, actually it does completely flat. It touches my desk all the way. Yep. So next move is a twisting. Twisting is using these one, two, three, four openings. I will push, put my finger right here and counterclockwise. So I'm gonna turn to my left counterclockwise. So what I did is right here, I put my fourth finger, third finger, second, and one. So all that, you have that. And look at my top hand turning to the clockwise. And as you do it, I'm kind of helping that with my bottom hand. And you can see the beginning of the twist. I will do it twice and three times. goes like that and that looks pretty good to me and I'm ready to shape that to flower you can use the scissors like that or you can use a um, table knife not too sharp though so use this side and I'm gonna curl One, two, maybe three times I'll do it. As I did it, it it untwisted, so I will do that again here. And with your with your hand moisture and heat paper react to the shape if you fold it like you are holding your dumpling to the shape so here's a flower you created this tool is really neat the tip has four points and put it onto the each each petal like that and twist you can do pretty good a lot look at that and i'll show you how to make this tool
this two is one, two, three, four toothpicks. All you have to do is put this together nice and even and put the rubber band very, very in the middle. Here you go. Then you can see the four spreads right here. One, two, three, four. In the shape of the diamond square, like this. Then put that at each opening right here. Or each layer has a bite of the toothpick. Two goes right here, and one more here. I like that. Oops, this is missing, but I bet it goes. Yeah, it does go. Keep it for maybe 10, counting 10, and when you take it off, voila. Here's a flower for someone you love, you care, or someone, oh, maybe yourself. Here's something extra you can do. A variation. Here's a flower. I made it from six inches paper, and this one has something extra, doesn't it? It's like a stem or some kind of decorative stem. It interlocks right here. So you don't have to use glue. I didn't have to. And when you want to put it in, this flap goes inside. Right here, there's a little, little pouch. This little triangle piece goes in. I can show you. Right here. And it's tricky to do them all, but you can. Right here. Goes inside. Two. It's a little tedious, but it's worth it. And the last one, it went automatically. Wonderful. How do you make this part? I have instruction video, so please check that out. And when you make it, put that right on top of it. That works too. Enjoy.